The submarine's only advantage over other ships is its stealth. It has no, no armor protection. It has very limited weapons. Uh, it has pretty good speed, but it cannot run a helicopter. Uh, it's, it's a small, vulnerable target if it can be located. Uh, the secrecy that, uh, that is part of the silent service comes simply from the fact that the stealth is the only advantage they have and they must protect it. Officer Deck, Rick Schiff for Patrol Flying. Rick Schiff for Patrol Flying, aye, sir. Now the Rick Over is ready. But ready for what? What is her mission in an age of peaceful coexistence? An age when keeping the peace depends upon convincing adversaries that war is unwinnable. Because what a submarine does, it creates in the mind of the adversary both certainty and uncertainty. He knows what terrible things you can do. That's the certainty of it all. But a terrible uncertainty in his own mind as to where you'll do it and when. And the great thing about a submarine is that you can literally defend in depth because you can put submarines way, way out, Lee? maybe quite close to the enemy's doorstep. Professor Lee? Now, you could never do that with surface ships or aeroplanes because they would be provocative, and before you knew it, you'd be at war for real. But submarines can sit out there, far out as you like, on the enemy's doorstep, if you really feel that's where they ought to be, without being provocative, and instantly ready for war. Sonar soup, I have a new contact. Designated Sonar 020, room. 068. On a submerged submarine, there was only one way to sense the outside world. Okay, Sound. Gun, sir, I have a new contact. Designated Sierra 20, bearing 068. SNR is a minus 21. We're ATF on comp 1. Gun, sir, on classification warship. What's up? Yeah, I just picked up a contact Sierra 20, a hostile uh, warship, surface warship, bearing uh, 056, sir. Well, man battle stations. Man sir. battle stations, aye, sir. Chief of the watch over the one MC, man battle stations. Man battle stations. This is an all hands drill. The Rickover is going to sneak up on a hostile surface ship and sink her. This is the Captain I of the Con, Lieutenant Commander Haney retains the deck. Yeah, uh, Lieutenant Commander Haney retains the deck. XO, we've got a uh, hostile surface warship bearing about 056. Aye, sir. 056. Diving officer, make it up 150 feet. 150 feet, aye, sir. This kind of warfare is unlike anything else. This ship is on its own. There are no distant commanders to check with, no other outfits guarding their flank. These men are alone and unsupported. Attention, fire control tracking party. We've got a hostile surface warship, designated Sierra 20, now Master 20, bearing 056. Who but a very enterprising, independent guy, irreverent in a military sense, is going to go want to run around in a place where he has no prospect of assistance. No prospect, no prospect of assistance. And that's just not just one once in a while, that is his whole reason for being, is to be able to do that. And it takes a particularly independent kind of guy. Officer Doug passing 150 to the right center of motor course. Very well. Up scope. Up Most of the activity here, here is cerebral. Submarine warfare is a mind game, with many independent minds attempting to merge into one. Head two-thirds. Scope's breaking. Next thing. Scope's clear. No course contact. Down scope. I hold one visual contact. Only the captain is in a position to piece together all the suggestions and information his crew can provide. He's the one who must picture the entire battlefield in his mind's eye. His masthead height uh, may be a little higher. Yes, sir. Based on classification, use a 120 foot masthead height, recompute the range. The crew has to have absolute confidence that this one guy who is who's engaged in acts that they really can't divine, they have to have absolute confidence in that guy, and they want to. Bearing, mark. They really want to believe that that skipper Range. is the best there is. Mark. Down scope. Down scope, buddy. Range, 0.85 divisions and high. Range, 11,000, 11, 11, yards. Check. Angle on the bow, port 2-0. Check. 
Firing point procedures. Master 2-0, tube 3. Firing point procedures. Master 2-0, tube 3. Solution ready. Weapons ready. Final bearing and shoot. Master 2-0. Bearing 045. Speed 5.0. Up scope. Bearing. Mark. 048.1. Down scope. Down scope. Shoot. Fire. Torpedo 4 is 0384. No matter how good your technology is, how wonderful these weapons are, how tough your hull is, at the end of the day, it is the man, the person, who wins or loses the battle. Can't recommend a left 40 degree steer to the weapon now. And in two world wars, your Navy, my Navy, we found that men and morale counted far more than material and machinery. Contar, loud explosion to the northeast, rough bearing 047. Sonar con I. Diving officer making up 400 feet. And two-thirds. Good job, fire control dragging party.